All right, just wanted to cover a few items here real quick. When connecting large motors to a Sabertooth 32 amp dual channel motor controller, uh, there's a few items that I wanted to point out that I could not find on the internet and thought that they might be important for fellow developers out there. Uh, so anyway, here we have the motor controller connected to two 12 volt batteries for 24 volts. They are sealed lead acid deep cycle batteries specifically for um, high current applications. Um, then I have the two 250, I think they're 250 watt wheelchair motors that I got off of eBay. It's very difficult to find any documentation on these things because they never have any stickers on them and people yank them out of wheelchairs, throw them up on the internet and you never know what you're getting. When you connect these motors directly to a battery, they will draw unloaded about 3 amps at 24 volts. Um, also, when you run them full throttle, these particular jazzy wheelchair motors are running uh, after they go through the gearbox at about 120 RPMs. Uh, it was measured, and just so you know, these tires are 10 inch pneumatic tires from Harbor Freight. Got them on sale for four bucks a piece. They have a th about a 30 inch circumference, so at that RPM, you're talking about five feet per second so you're moving pretty good uh, another thing to keep in mind is when you're getting these motors uh, you can see I already did it make sure you cut off the uh, brakes that are on there that come with those uh, the first thing you gotta do is take the screw out of the center then there'll be two one on each side and then you can lift the usually use the screwdriver pry it off pull brake will lift right off um, and then finally I have my ancient transmitter linked up to the receiver so we can see this thing operating in mixed mode so that way a single joystick will control both tires you could run it in independent mode which is done by just flipping two of the flip switches which is mentioned on the back of here one last very important thing I want to mention before firing this up this 5 volt connector here is a regulated output not an input don't connect it to a 5 volt supply instead you should use it to power your receiver the Sabertooth derives its power from that huge lead acid motor battery. Now, if you prefer to power your external circuitry with a dedicated battery, be sure to omit this connection, or else the Sabertooth won't even boot. It'll just blink air lights at you. So, here we go. You can see the current being drawn. This motor controller does a really good job driving this stuff. As you can see the current there, I'm not even barely breaking five amps sometimes. Now keep in mind this is unloaded. If you put some weight on it, you're gonna draw a lot more current. But this is just to give you an idea of what you're working with. So I've been running this thing for quite some time now. On and off before this video and it it's not even warm. It's like this is a really great piece of hardware. Highly recommend it. So Alright, well there you go. Hope this helps. Peace.